scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. You will see how cheap Satan is at the end of this teaching. Really, really. Look, let me tell you something. Not everybody is intimidated by Satan. He knows that there are people that know him. How many of you have some brothers that um, will go into a place where nobody knows them and they'll just be shining and lying? And the day you come, you say, what did you say? You say you were staying in a three-bedroom flat. Or God, I know you. We grew up together. That's what we'll do to the devil. We'll tell him, no, all this, this noise you are making, we know you. We know where we know ourselves. Behave and live. Hallelujah. Say amen if you believe that. Amen. So that all of those threats, when somebody comes to tell you, I know you will not make it. I know you and you're crying and running up and down. Save your tears. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the book of Ephesians talks to us about being seated with Christ. And then it also tells us how to walk. How to live the Christian life, the Christian character. Hallelujah. From chapter 3 down to chapter 5. And then chapter 6 tells us how to stand against the wiles of the enemy. I don't want to go over part 1. Please, we have the, the teachings. Listen to it very, very well. And there was something I shared in part 1. I don't know if I will repeat myself, but you need to hear it. Hallelujah. I told us the reason why Satan is all around looking for people. Praise God. Praise God. There is a reason why Satan is chasing everybody on earth. Believer, unbeliever, there is a reason and you must know why. I spoke about it quite extensively in the last teaching. Among other reasons, I told us that I spoke to us a bit about the creation of angels. How that angels were not made from the dust. Is that true? What we call thunder the lightning that was their material of creation they were made from light hallelujah that's why they can translate themselves the bible says satan has translated himself as an angel of light they can translate themselves and um so satan really wanted the image of god that part of god that makes god 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 denied him and then molded dust from the earth that he once walked upon. And then God took that which Satan desired and put it in man. And man became Satan's arch enemy. Hallelujah. All right, let's get to tonight's teaching, the mystery of wickedness. This is very important. The mystery of wickedness. I have a bad news and I have a good news. Let me start with the bad news. The bad news is wickedness is real. Say it after me. I know it's a bad news. Just say it. 1 John chapter 5 verse 9. 1 John. Chapter 5. Verse 19. I'm sorry, not 9. First John 5:19. Are you there? 
Some people are opening the Old Testament. You must be joking. Hallelujah. First John 5 verse 19. If you are there, let's read together. One to read. And we know that we are of God. And the whole world. The whole world lieth in kindness. Brotherly affection. It says the whole world lieth where? In wickedness. This is the truth that many people have refused to accept. This world we live in is surrounded by wickedness. And tonight, briefly, we'll examine the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. To let us know that there is an operation of wickedness that is present in the earth. And because we live here today and now, and we plan to live here for a very long time, it's important to understand the realities that are here and how to exempt ourselves. Ephesians 6 verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Against against the rulers of the darkness of this world finally against spiritual wickedness spiritual wickedness in high places some versions say in heavenly places the heavenlies i told you that there are many planes of heavens is that true remember our teaching the reality of what heaven and hell get the teaching i told us that there are many dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Many, when you say the heavenlies, you're not necessarily talking about the heaven of heavens, where God dwells, or the third heaven. There are many planes in the spirit, and the Bible generally calls it heavens. Are you getting my point? And I told us that this is where some people have gone to and come back and say they went to heaven. They went to astral realms. They went to different kinds of realms. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there are entities that are called spiritual wickedness. It's even a name. Spiritual wickedness. And they dwell in the heavenlies. They operate from that plane. Hallelujah. So the whole world lieth in wickedness. How come we are not taught that this world we live in from the moment you are born you are born into a system that is fabricated and doggedly into wickedness. And until you exit this realm, you are going to live with the reality of this predicament. So, knowing how to exempt yourself and your loved ones and exempt all that are around you is the reason why we are taking this topic. Are you getting my point? You are not going to stop the world from being wicked. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible calls Satan the God of this world. The God of this system. The one who fashioned a system that does not honor the values of the kingdom. Someday, every knee will bow experientially. Is that true? And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. But as at now, we do not yet see all things. Remember our teaching last week? We do not yet see all things. That's the reason why there are a brother who was saying armed robbers came and wanted to injure him. Think about it. Why will somebody sit down in the night? While you woke up in the morning, he was thinking, I'm going to wound somebody this night. How can a man think this is his goal for the day? I must wound somebody this night. It's called the mystery of wickedness. How many of you say, oh, why are they treating us bad? Who did I offend in my village that they want to stop me from marrying? Welcome to the reality of this world. You, you don't, Dr. Paul and Encher says, this, this, the earth realm is not a playing ground. He said it's a battlefield. Whether you believe it or not, as you grow, the realities that will confront you will make you to reconsider whether it is a joke or it is true. That wickedness is real. Many preachers, listen to me, many preachers in a bid.
to magnify God and demagnify Satan have, while that is a good intention, they have lied to people. Are you getting me? Lied to people that uh, there is the concept of wickedness. It does not exist. Please get this once and for all. Wickedness is real. Are you getting me? Somebody just gets up and looks at you and says, Benga, I don't like you. Why? I, I choose to hate you. And my life's goal is to prove to you that I hate you. You buy a nice car and take it home. Somebody just begins to frown. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Car. How old is this boy? 25, 25. I was 40 when I bought a bicycle. And because of that, listen, listen, listen. Many of us grew up in the cities. We grew up around. We watched all kinds of, of, of deceitful films that have covered us from the reality of the fact that wickedness is real. A number of us here are not working. But for those who are working, you know that when you get a job, for one single space of promotion, there may be a number of people. And everybody is eyeing every other person. Is that true? The day your director calls you, they call you and say, so what did he say? The next day you come back and your director says, don't be stupid. Me, I spoke to you. Something happened somewhere that you are not aware of. But you are paying a bitter price. Those who understand that wickedness is real and have equipped themselves with the revelation and the spiritual arsenals will keep soaring as if Satan does not exist. And they will leave others crying and languishing. There are many of our loved ones who don't go home. Some of you have not even gone home since you were born because they told you one scary story. They say nobody goes there and comes back the same. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare. Occultism is real. Witchcraft is real. Yokes are real. Bondages are real. Even Jesus said he was sent to deliver those who have been locked up in prison. They didn't see the prison physically, but they are in prison. Moving, but in prison. Hallelujah. This is what is affecting a lot of families. A lot of families. And I prophesy to you that in the name that is above all names, as we are teaching, just as the teaching is going on, many of you will suddenly find out that liberty, you are just liberated from this nonsense that the devil wants to tie you with. The strength of evil is ignorance the strength of evil is ignorance that's the highest weapon satan uses against the people of god ignorance the bible says in psalm 82 he said they know not neither do they understand they know not and then a few of us have gone a step further to know the name of jesus Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And it's not producing any result at all. So we're going to be examining these things. Praise the Lord. So wickedness is real. What is the goal of wickedness? Why wickedness? What is the goal of the evil that we see in our society? What does Satan want to achieve with armed robbers and terrorists and wicked people? in the villages and around witches and wizards necromancers people who try to project wickedness to people's lives what is the goal we must know where satan is going why is he doing this hallelujah what is the whole idea behind the set the, the devil trying to turn the heart of your father against you or your mother against you or your loved ones or your employer or your boss or your pastor whatever why does satan enjoy wickedness what does it do to him hallelujah wickedness or evil generally is brought to attempt to achieve three things number one 
to discredit God, to discredit God in your life, to discredit God. If there is anything Satan is obsessed about, is bringing you to a point where the credibility of God drops to zero in your life. How many of you have had people say, I used to trust God, but right now, I trust anything that works. God or others. Have you heard people speak like that? They say, I remember, I trusted God. From 17 years till 40 years. God didn't bring a husband. Right now, I trust any other thing. Whether a stick, a candle, fire, once it produces result, I trust it. That's exactly the goal of wickedness. When armed robbers attack you, and you are shouting Jesus, Jesus, and they still injure you, and they wound you, when certain things happen, they attempt to discredit God, discredit the word. Never forget this. The mystery of wickedness was put in place by Satan first in an attempt to prove that God is not as great as we claim he is. So when a man has been victimized so much, that, that, that pain becomes a stronghold in his mind. How many of you have seen people that when you are praying, their eyes are even open, they are just looking at you, saying in Jesus' name, Amen. While you are praying, they feel like slapping you. Once you just round up the prayer, they just move. You know they didn't believe this at all. The mystery of wickedness at work in their lives. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? When you tell your parents, oh, I'm attending Koinonia, God is doing great things, and then the devil orchestrates something terrible to happen. Are you getting me? Your father has an accident or something like that. And he returns back and you say, Daddy, I just wanted you to know that I dropped your name in the prayer request. He will give you a dirty slap and say, you and all the liars. and Every man of God is a liar. The mystery of wickedness. Number one, to discredit God. Do you not see that that was exactly what Lucifer tried to do in the Garden of Eden? He came and met Eve. Read his conversation with Eve. He said... Did God really say if you eat of this fruit, you will die? Now, you know that he used half truth, right? It was not, he just patched it up. He said, but do you know that there is a story you do not know? And that's why, that's what you will know when you eat of this fruit. And truly, when they ate of the tree, the eye, their eyes were open and they began to have a sense of the knowledge of good and evil. So, number one, to discredit God. Number two, number two, to weaken and possibly destroy your faith in God. To weaken and destroy your faith in God. The Bible says, be not weak in faith. Speaking about Abraham now. Be not weak in faith. The Bible says, he considered not. So, wickedness is orchestrated by Satan. Listen, please. Wickedness is orchestrated by Satan to weaken your faith. When you really see wickedness, you will need to trust God to stand. That's what philosophers are using. Why can a loving God allow children to be dying in Sudan? Is that not what people say? How can a loving God allow this and that to happen? And it weakens your faith. This is why Jesus says, if the son of man returns, will he find faith in the earth? Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? Especially for many of us who have been taught that when things go wrong in your life, it's a sign that something is wrong with you. It's a sign that something is wrong. Satan capitalizes on the inconsistency of that message. And when anything happens, you just believe that this trust you've been having in God. This is why Job said, though he slay me, Satan, you won't achieve what you are trying to achieve. Though he slay, are you seeing now? Job's wife came to a point where she was tired. She said, Job, Mio, 
I don't think God is faithful again. Curse God and die. When your wife tells you to curse God and die, that's a level of discouragement because she's supposed to be the last person that will stand by you. Are you getting my point now? So to discredit God, to discredit God, number two, to weaken or totally destroy your faith. Number three, what's the goal of the mystery of wickedness? To perpetuate, listen please, very important, to, I'm thinking of the best way to put it, to To become a channel through which the program and the evil agenda of Satan for nations will continue. Let me explain what I mean. How many of you have heard that word covenant? Why will the devil want our forefathers huh, to go and bow to him and enter a covenant on behalf of people yet unborn? What, what, is, what is his passion about people that are not born yet? Are you getting what I'm, I'm trying to explain now? Because Satan is trying to secure a channel through which he can pass a transgenerational channel. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? Are you getting my point? So although it will take 30 or 50 or 100 years for this generation to be born, Satan will say, you since you are representing them and i'm going to explain this to you i will explain to you i hope if i can remember the mystery of reproduction and you understand that reproduction is not just about sex and giving birth the bible says by one man not one woman sin was transferred are you getting me by one man through the blood praise the lord so he now enters a covenant and says, all right, in this family, we will worship you, give us children. We will worship you, give us protection. Deal. Is that true? Now he can go and give birth to 30 children. No CS with his wife. No CS, no hospital. But there will not be any complication because a pact had been entered. Are you getting my point? Fast forward two or three generations, somebody comes up and says, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to involve myself with all of these things. Because, you see, I'm going to talk about the mystery of blood. Blood does not have time. It speaks. It will raise an alert in the realm of the spirit. Something is being compromised here. And the next thing that will happen is that these people, because they are trying to breach a contract. Are you getting me? So it will activate the mystery of wickedness. The devil will now come to say, who is trying to stop this? And if you have authority enough, you will be the one who will break that cycle and enact a new one. Are you getting me? And if you do not sustain enough knowledge, you will die. And then the devil will say, this is a, an example of what I can do with anybody who plays with me. And the other person will say, I'm willing. Are you getting my point now? I don't know how you are going to write the third point, but that's what I, that's what the third point is. Praise the Lord to become a channel through which transgenerational wickedness will be perpetuated. God bless you, sir. The mystery of wickedness. Look up. How many of you know that if there are no human beings in the earth, wickedness will be unfruitful. It won't yield any result. Is that true? When you understand this, you will know that wickedness will not cease. In fact, the Bible says it this way. The Bible says, um, how did he put it now? It says, ah, end time, Matthew 24, how did he put it? How that people will be offended, is that true? paraphrasing like wickedness will increase the imaginations that are in the hearts of men will increase look at me those who are praying 
Listen, and I want you to get this. Those who want to solve their family problems by just saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, wickedness will not happen to me. When I finish with you, you will know that there are certain things that if you do not do, that prayer is incomplete. Because there is already a seed, like a gene. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you believe what I'm teaching? I know this is wrestling a lot of our theology. Oh, I'm in Christ. Calm down. We're, 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 we're heading somewhere. Because many of us have been cheated. Oh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. I will show you that your personal salvation does not change your territory. Are you getting my point? That I am born again does not automatically make my mother, brother, sister, and father born again. If that were the case, everybody would just kneel down on behalf of their clan and just accept Jesus once and for all and let's rest from this nonsense. Hallelujah. Is that true? So wickedness is real and the goal is to discredit God, to weaken your faith every single arsenal that satan launches at the believer is aimed at discrediting the faithfulness of god because he has a name and he is called faithful and true that means he does not lie that means he cannot lie that means he's ever he's 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 um ever faithful through all generations but when things begin to happen in your life that negate what the word of God is saying. That's Satan attempting to discredit God in your life. Say amen. The mystery of wickedness. Wickedness is real, brothers and sisters. This operation is working in our government. This operation is working in our families. Look at me. Look at me. How many of you have heard the stories of parents... Who will put something in hot iron and carry it and press it on their children? Is that called discipline? That is the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Or a mother look at her own daughter and say, I curse you. You won't marry, you won't move forward. This is a, it's a spirit. It's not just an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying, please? And if we do not understand this and deal with this, it will limit us in a very mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening our eyes. So the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world, your village, your house, the job you are trying to look for, that office is in the midst of wickedness. You may be born again, but are your fellow employees born again? Hallelujah. And you are going to have to live with them. You do business with wicked people. You go to buy rice and buy gari from somebody who went to a herbalist. You bought it, you ate. Is that true? So you're not going to say, me, I'll only work with Christians. Uh -uh. It's impossible. You live in a world where everyone is permitted to believe what he wants to believe. And because of our interrelations, you must find yourself relating with people. So you must know how to keep Satan where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Are you following me so far? Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the realms and jurisdiction, the boundaries of demonic operation. I won't stay too long in this aspect because I guess that this is the part that has brought fear and confusion and this is one of the most unscriptural areas of spiritual warfare in terms of its explanation. This is where you have people um, write accounts in an attempt to show us the structure and the organogram. Are you following me now? I know that there are many books, hundreds and probably thousands and even millions on books of books on spiritual warfare, deliverance, and so on and so forth. And there are many opinions. Are you getting me? The Bible tells us something very interesting. It said, do not be ignorant of the devices. I told you the word devices is the word stratomai. His strategies. 
So we are just concerned about his strategies. We are not necessarily concerned about the kingdom and what the organogram of the satanic kingdom is. Are you getting my point? I personally believe that an extensive study into the organogram and the structure of Satan is not really necessary. Especially in light of the fact that we know that in Christ he has been defeated. Are you following what I'm saying? So I'm just guiding us just to bring awareness. There are many books and I've read some of them. You have read some of them. Hallelujah. They begin to tell you all kinds of things. They list physical territories in the earth where there are headquarters of demonic activities and so on and so forth now i'm not i do not have enough authority to dispute the things that are being written are you getting my point especially for those that do not compromise the written word of god some of these things were written by people who allegedly said they were part of the demonic kingdom and for some of them they were deep into occultism there are lots of books, Occult Grandmaster, Now in Christ. There are books by Rebecca Brown, Mary Baxter, um, Dr. Olukoya, who is considered to be an authority in the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare. There are a lot of others, you know, different brothers, prophets, people, and so on and so forth who have written books. Others went to heaven, others went to hell, others died and came back, others just studied the Bible. So we have this extensive um, description, level 111, level 999, level 666, level, you know, this and that and that. And for many people we have, rather than concentrating on the strategies, the methods of Satan and understanding our victory, we have paid attention trying to study and research on the organization of the demonic kingdom let me tell you something if you do that the danger is that everything will suddenly become demonic around you have you seen people like that why are you looking at me like this they just say kai this lady you are because of something they read they say okay in our kingdom when we want to seduce a man we look at him like this so a lady is quietly she's even feeling sleepy and just looking at you just say kai in jesus name don't Lord of Jesus, you are putting sign of the cross. So, we don't want to see this kind of immaturity in the body of Christ. That's why there must be a balance. Are you following me? There are people who don't wear black on Friday or on Sunday because they read a book and they say, every time you wear black on Friday, notice, check left, you will see a star. That's a sign that we are coming out. You know, and all kinds of sects come up with... now. I hope you understand that I'm not condemning anybody. You get my point? I'm only trying to explain to you that it is quite counterproductive to spend all of our time and energy trying to understand the entire organization. Listen, how many CEOs maintain the same structures? They change. So that you were delivered from occult in 1980 does not mean the organogram that used to exist still exists. It is logical for any leader to be dynamic. Are you getting my point? So when you come and say, okay, there is a demon. His name is Luke. He's the one in charge of Zaria. He's the one appointed to stop Koinonia. His name is Luke. What if Luke... What, what, what if Luke was promoted or demoted and they now brought another person? And you are still advocating. And you say, look, I'm speaking to you now. You are hearing my voice. Look, is somewhere saying me. I'm not even in Nigeria again. And now you are shouting. You see, there is a lot of spiritual ignorance. A lot of it. And most of this has come because we have uh, not necessarily gone out of scripture. But taken other materials and use them as the ultimate template to help us understand the realm of the spirit i think sufficient enough is the information the bible gave us about satan i believe it is sufficient enough praise god you get my point if you were in the occult before and you were delivered and you wrote a book please don't feel sad if you wrote prayer point that your book should increase it will increase we prayed for you hallelujah but at the same time don't go about sitting down teaching people 
and saying, okay, in the realm of the spirit, red means danger, white means this, yellow means this. So don't wear yellow shirts. If you really mean business with prosperity, keep yellow shirts aside. This is part of the teaching that has moved from church to church and place to place. So we have brought religiosity and a lot of forms of religion in an attempt to keep Satan. There is nowhere in scripture, listen, or you say, ah, don't take products from Procter and Gamble. They are Freemason and all of that. What do they make? How many of you have used their inhaler? You force it in your nose and you and did you go to hell? Did demons come to disturb you? You see, I'm saying this thing because we are touching on this topic and I'm trying to clear the air. There are many of you who say, I know somebody is a bad person. He sells meat. Me, I know this guy goes to the harbor. He won't eat his meat. Question. The one you have been eating before, who told you that that meat was not taken to a harbor? Are you getting my point? Rather than allowing fear put religious rules, why don't you rise up in Revelation and realize that the Bible says a thousand shall come by your side. Only God knows how many poisons I've eaten in my life. Because the Bible says when they serve you, just give thanks and eat. Hallelujah. Many of us don't eat certain people's food. Just said, this lady is always frowning. At. I won't eat her food though. I don't know what I've entered right now. And then many of us, listen, I have had other teachings. Aha, let me even talk about it. I've had other teachings that say somebody can come to you. Come. He can just come and hug you and he has initiated you. Listen, let me balance something very quick. Was that how you got born again? You think, listen, I want you to understand that the will of man is a powerful force. Even Jesus stood at the door of the heart and was knocking until man agreed to open. Are you getting my point? If you are not in Christ or you are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom, it is possible. Are you getting my point? But to now come and say, oh, because I'm just sitting down and you came to put with one on my head, suddenly I've been initiated, except you don't carry fire. The witch doctor together with his fire, it will burn into ashes there. There was a time people were complaining that a particular woman in Joss, she was doing some kinds of funny things and then getting power to make people come and eat her food. You know how many people ate that food? <laughs> when they told me the restaurant, I laughed. I said, oh Lord, I don't know whether I'm eating here or not, but it cannot have power over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up, up my soul, my soul. Oh, my oh my God, God. I, I trust in thee. thee, let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. I pity the person that will go to a coven and call my name. That's the last time you will have the opportunity to shout it. Believe me. See, I'm rushing myself because let me see if we can get to weapons of victory. Except you don't know the spiritual arsenals you carry. Let me tell you, Satan can bow. This is the sweetest part of this gist. That's why I want to rush all these things so that we'll get there. Say after me, Satan can bow. I hate the way Satan has been so magnified. There are many people who teach, they say, do you know that these classes of demons are so powerful, not even you can stand them. There are people who believe that. I don't believe that. Absolutely. I don't believe it. The Bible says, God gave him a name that is above every other name. He said at the mention of that name, every knee, not some, 
every knee must bow. Hallelujah. Let's rush. So, jurisdiction number one. Number one. The realm of the spirit. Territories of operation. Or realms of operation. Number one. The Bible says that they operate in heavenly places. So that is a realm of demonic operation. Please write quickly. Can you put strings? Or put it on there? Hallelujah. Wickedness. Now, these are the territories that exert it upon government. Remember that the Bible says, there's no time to show you this. The Bible says when Daniel was praying, remember the story? The Bible says that principality that was operating over the territory of Persia, the prince of Persia, withstood the prayers of Daniel. Is that true? When Gabriel was going to bring him the answer, he said when, he, when Gabriel arrived, he said from the very first day that you set yourself to pray, your prayers were heard. Okay? And while he was coming, the prince of that territory. So there are powers that station themselves across territories. That's why you can see that certain geographical territories exhibit similarities of certain character. Is that true? You find out that certain people, certain territories, the men are irresponsible. Certain territories, you know, they, they, are, they are given to anger. Certain territories, they are given to irresponsibility and all kinds of things. You find out that it's a common trait because of these operations of darkness in the heavenlies. Second is the air. Please take notes. This is very important. Notice that it is the features that the Holy Spirit uses to manifest himself that Satan also operates there. The air. The Bible talks of the prince of the power of the air. These spiritual forces of wickedness are the ones who manipulate and control people because the media is through the power of the air. Are you getting my point now? They are, they are the ones who initiate mind control systems. And this is probably one of the most disastrous manifestations of darkness. Deception and ignorance. Are you learning something now? So the air, the prince of the power of the air. Second scriptural proof that the air is one jurisdiction of operation. Remember when Jesus was going to meet the madman in Gadara. What happened? The Bible says suddenly the winds and the waves became boisterous. But Jesus looked and he knew that this was not just about wind. This was not just about the storm. Look at the tsunami that happens. Is it not wind? Wind. These are spirits. It's just that we cannot see it with our optical eyes. They are spirits. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? So the air. Number three. Water. Water. This is very important. This is where we talk about the marine world. Or marine spirits. This is the jurisdiction of darkness that is responsible for prosperity, for lust, for seduction, and all kinds of perversion. Every kind of immoral perversion is associated with this dimension of demonic operation. Water. Very important. Are you learning something tonight? Water. And this one is very important. That's why you find out that territories that are covered around the riverine areas exhibit attitudes of lust. Are you getting me? Lust, unfaithfulness in marriage, and all kinds of... You see it rampant. Are you getting my point? This is spiritual intelligence. I will give you sufficient to the point that you need, that I believe you can research more. But I think that explaining to you what i'm explaining to you is giving you intelligence so that when you are talking with people it's like a doctor diagnosing a patient with this spiritual intelligence you will understand you will know how to act hallelujah praise the lord there was a time i remember at the bar beach it was it was a popular issue that uh, i think a particular bank or organization built a glass house is that true they built a glass house and the witches and wizards around the marine, they wrote a letter to them. 
They said, you better do something about those buildings before we scatter it. You are interrupting us. Water. Very important. Very important. Job began to talk of the deep sea creatures. He called it Leviathan. The deep sea creatures that arise from the water you read the book of revelations and it tells you you see the interaction of water and all of these things so i've told you the realm of the spirit the air the atmosphere the water this water one is very serious do you know something i will show you from scripture something that may surprise you do you know everything you see in existence, the animals and the rest, do you know they came out of water? They came out of water. Genesis, let me show you very quickly. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army, the rising up. They'll break every chain, 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 break every chain. Help me search for it. Genesis 2. Verse what? 21? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Good Bible students. Verse 20 and 21. Genesis 1. Are you there? I just want to show you that the water is a very mysterious object. And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So there is a mystery of abundance and water. Are you understanding me? Is it in your Bible? He said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. Hmm. The moving creature that have life. Where did they come out from? He said, and the fowl that may fly. Even the fowl came out of the water. It's in your Bible. Above the earth in the open firmaments of the heaven, verse 21, and God created great sea monsters and every living creature that moveth, which the waters poured forth abundantly. Are you seeing now? Is it in your Bible? The water. Very, very important. This is why Satan associates himself a lot and there are many demonic diabolic things that happen with water hallelujah the next medium of manifestation is fire notice that these are the same expressions of the spirit fire almost everyone here uh, most of our villages have festivals. There is no festival without fire. How many of you have seen diabolic people put fire and keep putting it around them? What are they trying to achieve? It is a realm of operation of demonic substances. See, let me tell you something. Fire is a big mystery. Big mystery. You can't hold it. It doesn't fear anything, but it consumes everything that come ar comes around it. Hallelujah. Fire very important even the world will be judged with fire the first judgment was with water the second judgment will be with fire hallelujah number what now four number what five i'm going to give it to you now the fifth one is the earth dust earth adam Look at me. 
How many of you have seen people in your village get angry and they carried sand and spoke to it and dropped it back? Or like the Igbo people do, when they take small drink, they pour small on the ground and say to our ancestors, What is it about the earth? The prophet looked and said, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. That means the earth is not non-living like we teach in biology. It was in the days of Moses. The Bible says the people rebelled against God and the earth opened its mouth. It has mouth. It swallowed them. Till tomorrow we cannot find them. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? These are jurisdictions of operation. That's why priests and the rest put their shrines on the ground and then they sit down. Even if you give them one million, they won't go and build a luxurious house. That earth, they must associate themselves with the earth. Hallelujah. These levels, these medium, these realms of operation, every manifestation every single medium of manifestation let me give you one more are you ready human beings human vessels as far as satan is concerned this is the best medium of manifestation why because every other thing i've listed does not have a will they don't have willpower as it were are you getting me and they don't have souls only human beings have souls. Please, are you learning something? So Satan entered the madman. Remember? The madman in Gadara. Do you know that the entire spirits across those territories, they were resident in that man. He stayed in caves. He was alone. He caught himself. But the moment Jesus was coming, without any publicity, he came out and went to wait close to the water and was waiting for Jesus to arrive. Immediately Jesus arrived, he began to talk to him. He said, we know who you are. Have you come to destroy us before our time? What time? What time did Satan teach them? Let me tell you something about the powers of darkness that you must understand. When they say their time has not come, what that means is this. Listen. You cannot seize their operation from the earth. But you can seize their operation from your territory. Are you getting this? Please understand this. That's why we can't all sit down right now. And say Satan. Leave the whole world. Go to Venus. Or Mars relocate there after all is empty go and build a new kingdom leave us in peace so says the apostles and the prophets no you can't do that what you can do even jesus while he was on earth he didn't cast satan out of everywhere wherever he met with him he told him mr man go listen jesus himself answered one request of demons they said please cast us to the pigs what did he say in other words he knew that as far as exiting this realm is concerned, they are not going to leave. What we can do, are you getting my point? So that there are certain prayers we will stop praying at once. Are you getting my point? Many people pray and what they mean by their prayer is to tell the devil, bye bye, pack your load and go. Let me not see you and don't even go. Have you had that prayer? I cast you into Gehenna. Have you had that kind of prayer? Don't come out again. Uh, is that really an accurate prayer? No, no. Don't feel bad. Believe me. With the kind of prayerful people on earth, if that prayer were answerable by now, there would have been some clear air that shows that sufficient demons have gone down to Gehenna. Gehenna is called the place of the dead. Are you getting my point? Listen. He said resist the devil. There are people that pray all kinds of prayers. Oh, we cast you and we lock you up across a forest. Just stay there. Those kinds of prayers 
are not accurate prayers. Please, please listen. Don't be offended if you are used to praying those kinds of prayer. But I want you to know that we cannot cast Satan and demons out of the earth. We can only secure our territory. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible says Satan is like a roaring lion. He's like that. He moves to and fro. Praise the Lord. Say I'm learning something. Water. Wind. The atmosphere. I just want you to know that these are operations of darkness. Every time a native doctor or a herbalist wants to do certain things, one or more of these elements must be in place. Yet, these are the same elements that the Holy Spirit associates himself with. What does that tell you? Discrediting God. You see that? Thank you, Jesus. Let's touch on weapons of victory. I'll just use one and then we'll stop. Where? What's the time? Oh, there's time. Praise God. Don't look at the time. Look at me. The clock is not preaching to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, before we talk of the weapons of victory, let me just speak very quickly on the strategies of Satan. The strategies. The strategies. This is, I think this is the one that is very important. Strategies. There are three main strategies from scripture. They will not change. This is the one you can bank on. They will not change. Do not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai, his strategy, his way of doing things. It can come in different forms, but it is one of these three. Number one, I shared it last week, ignorance. 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 Second Corinthians 4 verse 4. Ignorance. Are you there? Okay, I thought it was projected. Let me turn there. Second Corinthians 4 verse 4. In whom the God of this world. Okay. Second Corinthians 4. Not Chronicles. Sorry. Second Corinthians. No problem. Let's continue. In whom the God of this world or this age. The word age there is aeon. In whom the God of this system. The thinking pattern of this system. Has blinded the minds of them who believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Who is the image of God should shine upon them. Is that in your Bible? It says Satan did what? Blinded their minds. Everybody say ignorance. The number one and hear me. As sophisticated as Satan looks. His greatest strategy is to maintain ignorance in the lives of believers or across territory. Say ignorance. Notice, every manifestation of wickedness in the earth realm has been strengthened by the ignorance of the people. Because the moment they know, they will revolt until victory comes. Every bad government in the world has been able to execute its agenda by enforcing ignorance. Are you getting that? That's the spirit of the power of darkness. Say ignorance. Ignorance. Now, come. Any other guy again? Come. I need two gentlemen. Stand here, stand here. I want to explain something. Stand here, stand here. Now, please, everybody look at me. I want you to understand this. And I pray you get this revelation in Jesus' name. There are two sides to the understanding of the kingdom please don't forget there are what two sides the first is understanding the person of jesus christ the person of jesus christ the second 
is the principles of Jesus Christ. And that's what we call the principles of the kingdom. Is that true? Are you following me, please? So, the person of Jesus Christ, when you come under the lordship of Jesus Christ, when you surrender to Jesus Christ, you have embraced his person. But that does not automatically mean that you have knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. Are you getting my point? The person of Jesus Christ secures your eternal destiny and secures your peace. The principles of Jesus Christ secure your victory in this earth realm. So there are many well-meaning believers who know the person of Jesus Christ in terms of their loyalty to him, but they lack sufficient understanding of kingdom principles. Are you getting my point? For instance, there are many well-meaning Christians who are poor and broke and they may remain like that forever. And they believe that just by being close to Jesus Christ, automatically prosperity comes. No, there, there is a kingdom principle that governs it. Is that true? There are many people, although they are close to God, many people hate them because the kingdom principle for access is honor. Are you getting my point now? So whether you are a Christian or not, when you dishonor people, you will never have access. Are you getting my point? So, there is ignorance. What Satan tries to do is to take this first level of ignorance to stop you from seeing the light of the gospel to come to Jesus Christ in the first place. But if he does not succeed and by any means you surrender your heart to Jesus Christ, this becomes the second phase of the ignorance. He stops you. Are you getting my point now? So, there are many well-meaning Christians who... The devil has lost it on them as far as the person of Jesus is concerned. But he has shielded them from understanding the principles of the kingdom. That's why when somebody gets born again, the next mission is to subject him under a radical teaching ministry where the principles of the kingdom will be taught and then he will understand. This is what spiritual growth is about. Growing in intimacy. This is why we call koinonia intimacy and partnership intimacy is our knowledge as we progress deeper to know god partnership is our working with the word and with the spirit are you getting my point now do you understand this this explanation i've given you because the greatest tool that satan uses his number one strategy is what ignorance so an unbeliever comes. How many of you have seen a lot of unbelievers who understand Bible verses? They understand a lot of Bible verses. You say something, they ask you, they say, okay, let's turn to the book of Matthew. I have this and that. And the next thing, they will not accept the simplicity of the gospel. Are you getting me to surrender to Jesus Christ? Then, when they eventually surrender, the devil makes them feel that there is nothing more in the kingdom. So, they remain in church and they think remaining in church is equal to spiritual growth. So, eventually they tell you, I've been here 20 years. And based on that, there is nothing you will tell me. Ignorance of the principles. Are you getting my point? This is the deliverance that is happening to some of you right now. Because you are born again. But you don't know why things are not moving the way the word says should be. Could it be? That you do not yet have the comprehension. Paul himself prayed in Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17. To the Ephesian church who were already born again. He said for this cause I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The father of glory. That he may grant unto you the spirit of what? Wisdom. And understanding or revelation. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened flooded with light that ye may know so the bible tells us that according as his divine power has given us what all things but those all things are encapsulated in knowledge when you have access to the principles the door opens up to you at once that's why all things are not possible for everybody what is possible for me although we are all equal in christ but our comprehension of kingdom principles have created the divide so I can speak to a demon spirit and say go and he will go. 
not because my born again is greater than your own, but my, I have a greater comprehension. Two students in the same class, taught by the same teacher, one gets 100, one gets 50. Are you seeing that now? It is the degree of their comprehension. It is because of that that some will be a 30-fold, some will be a 60-fold, and some will be a what? They all produced. But according, the Bible says those who were on good soil were the ones who had and understood. But the difference was their degree of understanding. Are you following me now? Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of Jesus. Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of the kingdom. The question I want to ask you is, how many principles of the kingdom do you know? This is the measure. See, listen. Listen, this is very important. Healing, for instance. Healing comes from the body of Jesus. By his stripes, we are healed. Are you seeing that? Favor does not just happen automatically. So, when you understand the laws of the spirit, then you will know how to navigate through life. So whenever you, f you see a roadblock, you go back and search out diligently what kingdom principle is responsible for the result you are looking for. Because if God did it, then it is possible. It is only the light that will open the door. So arise and shine. Not because you want to arise. Your light, access. When that revelation comes and you understand it, the door is opened at once. If you understand what I'm teaching right now, it's automatic. You don't need to pray about it. That's why, see, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was moving around, waiting for those who will understand and believe, so that at once it will be activated. While Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on them because they understood and they believed immediately. Are you getting the point now? So when the word of God returns to him, it's because he did not find a believer. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me? Bless you. Bless you. Weapons of victory. Let me just take one. The name of Jesus. Hmm. I will share a revelation about the name. There are many weapons of victory. Maybe let me just run to a few of them. The name of Jesus. The mystery of the blood of Jesus. Listen. The power of praise. The power of a seed. I'm going to teach you the weapon, spiritual arsenals that will lock the hands of Satan at once. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. The power of unity. The power of love. All of these are dangerous spiritual weapons. That will keep Satan where he belongs. Is this teaching benefiting you? Are you getting something? So I'll just take on one of them. The power of the name of Jesus. We'll sing that song. There is power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We'll sing that song one more time. To the shame of the devil. And then we'll just pray. Just pray in tongues for a minute or two. And then you sit down. I'm about to give you a revelation that will set you on fire. Shabakata labaka presekete baladadada. Shem breda baladadada. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Sing it one more time. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Every 
chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Can you stretch in tongues for just one minute? Zakata pakata preketa. Mamrosote kata balada baka. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bibles. Let me have your attention. Lord, let our eyes be open. Show us something powerful. Let me tell you something. There are many of you, if you catch this revelation tonight, you will be amazed. This name will work for you. Years ago, I called this name, oh, nothing happened. I shouted Jesus. I said it like a special number. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. I show you a mystery right now. Mark 16. Break every chain. There are some chains that need to be broken. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Verse 15. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Take my value system to every creature. He said, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe, believe not shall be damned. 17, if you are a believer, please read it. One, to read is projected. Stop. Stop. This sign shall follow them that believe. They will do certain things when they have a revelation of my name. He said, in my name, they will do what? It tells you all the things that can be possible in the name. In my name, they shall, number one. Number two. Number three. They shall take up what? Hold on. What is the meaning of that? What is they shall take up serpents? What is the meaning of they shall take up serpents? I will soon explain it to you. Because Jesus told Moses... I mean, God told Moses, remember, he said, take the serpent from the tail. I will show you what that means. They shall take up serpents. It doesn't just mean carry a physical snake. Remember at the burning bush, when Moses met with God, I, you remember, are you getting my point? He threw the rod. Is that not true? And he told him to take it, to hold it by the tail. Is it not in your Bible? I will show you what that means to take up serpents. It's a revelation. It's a revelation. I will show you a scripture that says the horn in a man's body is on his hands. A horn is a symbol of power. Are you getting my point? So he said with that horn, you will take up serpents. It's a mystery. I will explain. He said in my name that will happen. He said and if they drink any deadly thing, that means if they move in my name, no poison will harm them. So long as it is in my name. He said they shall lay hands. I will show you the mystery of the laying on of hands. It's not just about touching people. The horn in a man's body is his hands. The apostle said that you will stretch forth your mighty hands. The right hand of God, the Bible says, is the hand of power. Not his right leg. He said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of the name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, if I call you, come. Benga. The 
the first revelation of the name of a man is it invites his presence. When you invoke the name of a man, his presence is encapsulated in his name. Are you seeing this? I called his name and what happened? His presence showed up. So the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming their words with signs. It happened because a personality was answering to his name. So they went in the name. This is what it means to come in the name of the Lord. To come with the backing, the presence of God. Weapons of victory that can kick any satanic arsenal out of your life. Hallelujah. Watch this. I called his name. And he confirmed that that name is true. The name of a man is his identity. Every time, see, listen, listen. That's why when God met certain people, he changed their names. Because the name of a man represents the prophecy of his life. It represents his ability. It represents the prophecy upon his life. When he met Jacob, he said, no, you are not a cheat and a supplanter. As a prince with God, you are fought and prevailed. I change your name to Israel. And the prophecy started following him. The mother of Jabez bore him in sorrow. And all through his life, the name was following him. Name follows people. A name is a spirit. It's a presence. And Jabez said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Change my name. Hallelujah. Are you getting the revelation now? So the first revelation is that the name of Jesus compels his presence to show up in that scene. Listen. Now you understand what Paul was saying. Say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring God or who will go to the deep he said but the word is near you even in your mouth that means when it is uttered with revelation the presence shows up no time no distance are you getting my point this is a very very powerful revelation very powerful revelation you must believe this let me demonstrate something take this hold it this is ordinary handkerchief who brought this handkerchief are you seeing this? This is an ordinary handkerchief. He's holding it, right? Give it back to me. Watch the power of the name. This is not just for jamboree. Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Hold this. Hold it. What is the difference? He just held this. Is it not so? He held this. He held this. You see the power of God there breaking out again. See, this is a revelation. This is why saying in Jesus' name is not what will bring the miracle. There is a revelation. This is what I want you to know. It will rattle from the realm of the spirit and it will affect you in this realm. This is a handkerchief he held. That's why I did it in your presence. It's the name. Say not in your heart. Who will go and bring him from heaven? He is closer to you. This is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. Unbelief. So you can be, listen, you can say Jesus, Jesus, nothing will happen. The next thing I want you to know is, what is really this name? Let's examine it. What is the name? We have said what the name can do, but what is the name? Look up, please. I want to shock you. Listen, the name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said, in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said, if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. Listen. The Bible says, Isaiah speaking. He said, you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said, that will be his name. 
the name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. -S. Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya Zata Kabarata Makapakata Teketata Deka Sekapata Beka Mambrosko Beka Talia Baba 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 Sekepros Kabariata Sokotopa Sopadiata Embreketeka in the name I come 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 Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new level. A new dimension. You don't have to say it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. I want to explain something to you. Listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when I tell you all men are not equal. We are equal in Christ, but something has separated people. The Bible says there are some bodies terrestrial, some celestial. Not everybody you see is the same. It's not pride. This is why we are bringing us higher. I tell you the truth, you will shake hell this is how you will live as if Satan does not exist. You are coming in the name. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. Zeka kapata kata balada bakate basia. Zende brato shalamah. God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. breakthroughs are already happening deliverances are happening believe it deliverances are happening I hear the chains falling strongholds I hear the chains falling I command every chain fall I give the chains falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command every captivity go to and from now. Every sickness, go. Every infirmity, go. 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 Every yoke, every disease. I hear the chain. 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 I hear 
Rita Sota Lava. Oh God, I hear the change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Let me show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy life and let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy life let hope rise was the same person that ministered the same person that see many of you do not understand the power in the name Jesus didn't lie to us believe me that name is powerful that name is powerful every demon and every spirit just a symbol in this place right now every foul devil at the count of three i come in the name go 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 every spirit every demon every devil i command you in the name go out out you will not return again go go He said in his name, we will cast out demons. I cast out demons now in that name. Go, go, go. I take a baba baba baba. Cabra. So proto so prekete. Every problem you have come here with tonight, yeah. it leaves you here now. Yeah. Every problem you came here with, I yeah. don't care what it is. In the name, yeah. in the name, it will bow now. Yeah. Every problem, yeah. every problem, every yeah. challenge, health, yeah. finance. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Please sit down if you can. We have to finish this. Please sit down. Sit down. Kadabala Katabronda Sotola Kosha. Sit down if you can. If they can't sit down, just leave them, please. We have to hurry up.
I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you. The goal is not to watch a man of God do this. The goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now. Take that name. Go and dislodge powers in your house. Let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion. Without a demonstration of the kingdom, they will doubt you. Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Listen, God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's hurry up. There are many weapons of victory but i'll talk on one philippians chapter 2 let's take it from verse 8 and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross verse 9 wherefore Kabbalataya, God had so highly exalted him stop I taught us last week that until Jesus died and rose again he was not yet exalted is that true listen I want to surprise you the name was not yet given to man officially until he was coronated are you getting me because as it were when jesus was on the earth his name was limited why was it limited because he was a man and he had not defeated death so the last enemy to be destroyed death still had power over him are you getting my point this is the reason listen please this is the reason why when he sent the 70 he begged them not to go to certain places because the power would not work there but when he resurrected, remember Mary wanted to touch him. And he said, no, don't touch me. You will corrupt a coronation that is about to take place. This is what the psalmist saw. And he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my... That was the coronation service of Jesus. The moment that happened, he returned to earth. And he said, all hail. Now, all power has been given. Go therefore no boundaries no limitations you just go anywhere it will work because a coronation had happened are you getting the point now so he begins to give us by revelation paul said wherefore god exalted him and gave him that means before then it had not been given he gave him a name what is this name that we have been looking for he said which is above every other name verse 10 whatever that name is whenever that name of jesus he said at the name of jesus the name is not jesus every knee should bow at the name that was given to this person called jesus you get my point every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth ready for the name let me show you 11 and every tongue should confess that that jesus christ has now received a name that is called lord that's the name that's the name that was given to him look at it that's the name 
Lord. Psalm 24. Quickly. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Verse 1. Psalm 24 verse 1. Are you there? Everybody read one to go. Stop. Did he say the earth belongs to God? Do you know what Lord is? Lord means master. Lord means owner. Ma Lord means authorized legislator. Authorized. So the earth belongs to whoever will bear this name called Lord. The name was reserved. No one had taken the name yet. When Jesus defeated death, God said you now qualify. Take the name. So you now become the literal possessor of the earth. Are you getting me now? The earth is the Lord's. So the Bible says, if you want the name, here is the condition. The name is upon a mountain. But who shall ascend to that hill? And who shall stand in his holy place? This is the requirement. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. No man qualified to ascend that hill. But Jesus was as a man tempted like us, yet without sin. So he ascended the mountain. That's why the Bible says, before he led captivity captive, he first ascended, he descended. After that he ascended, he took the name and he came back and he entered a room without the door. And he said, all hail. All authority has been given to me. Listen, this is what Jesus said. Listen, he said, Whoever believes in me, I will give the privilege to share my name. You get the point? That name, Lord, so just like me, he will become an authorized legislator. So, in my name, he will cast out devils so that it will not make any difference whether it was jesus speaking physically or you or a handkerchief whatever comes in the name brings the presence of jesus directly that's why whether you speak english or hausa or greek demons don't hear those things they didn't speak English in Bible days. All you need to do is come in the name. So handkerchiefs and aprons were taken. Handkerchiefs and aprons. They contacted the name. Lord. It says, and the fullness thereof, the world, and all they that dwell therein. Listen. 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 Listen, please. The Lordship of Jesus is the revelation that when you come under, you have carried the name. It's not Jesus. It is a revelation that this man, God has made him both Lord and Christ. He's not just the anointed, but he has become the owner. Are you listening to me? So if I look at this sister, for instance, I come in the name because she belongs to God. I have the authority to cast out whatever is molesting her because I come in the name. Are you getting the revelation? Hold on. Many people think it is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Do you know why we shout Jesus? We want unbelievers to know that the owner of that name is Jesus. Are you getting my point? When you tell demons, go, is go J-E-S-U-S, -S, is go L-O-R-D, they search in the spirit to see whether you have the revelation of that name. Once you have it, they will obey you. So after this night, you will go back home in the name. Many of you, you will go and look for what you left and say, where is it? And it will say, I left. Because the person who left was not the person who came back. You came in the name. Remember, there was a certain time even the disciples could not cast out devils from the epileptic patient because they did not have the name. They thought it was just Jesus doing a lot of things. Now when they had the name, Peter was angry. 
in Acts 3 he says, now is my time to shine. He saw the man who was lame. And the Bible says, it says, silver and gold I don't have, but I have something. You can know you have something. He said, this is what I have. In the name. You see that? That was his treasure. He said, this one, no man can take it from me. I may not have silver and gold, but I have something that can solve your problem. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. The man was still looking at him. And Peter said, you don't know the power of the name I'm invoking. He held him and the Bible says he leaping stood. Son of man, he said, can these dry bones live? He said, I don't know. He said, all right, now you prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. That's the secret. When God gives you his name, he has authorized you to legislate on his behalf. As many as received him, he gave them power the power is not falling and rolling on the floor the power is the ability to share in his lordship hallelujah this is what makes ordinary men to become something else so that you see an ordinary man moving but you don't try him when he calls on a government that is bigger than you, you see that we are going to pray. I've been hearing that there are many people that molest people on their way home. We are going to pray. Let me tell you the truth. I pity the next person that would try to molest anybody here. It's the name. It's the name. Listen. Please, I want you to believe this. Believe this. Years ago, they stole my laptop. Thieves came to our house. We were all sleeping. They just carried the laptop. And my brothers were running to chase them and honestly when i got up i just had commotion and i was laughing my own was not that i lost that i was just laughing i said oh god i love you if my laptop doesn't return give me money to buy another one and an angel appeared before me and he just did this and that was the end of it seven hours later the laptop was back on my table hallelujah some people from nowhere mobilized themselves and made up their mind to look for the thief. They went and caught him in PZ. I was busy counseling. The name, see, the name of Jesus is powerful. Don't let secular humanism or the things that, you, that did not work for you before make you think it does not work. Are you getting me? You say, ah, but I use the name. I told you they stole my wallet. My, the wallet didn't come back. But that does not ever mean that the name is not powerful this is the problem with a lot of people we are too our our faith is too small the moment something does not happen we just conclude this thing doesn't work you think so hallelujah praise the lord let me stop here we'll continue next week rise up i feel the spirit of prayer hold your hands together hold your hands and pray in the spirit just for five minutes please all the instruments coming pray in tongues Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us, have not yet submitted to the lordship you have given your heart to the lord 
that's true but you have not come under his influence tonight you are going to pray and say lord i willingly submit to your authority to your government pray and watch the wonder watch the wonder of what will begin to happen in your life inside and outside make sure you are praying Lord, I submit to your governing influence. Lord, I submit to your mighty hand. I submit. I submit. Lord, I submit. Embrace <laughs> I bossa tanda ba kasa gede le bregedia, la bossa pata la bregede gede gede, I dosa tonda ba kasa tanda. Hallelujah. Listen, the centurion surprised Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a revelation that touched him. The, Jesus said, "Let's go to your house." He said, "No, you don't need to go, for I am a man under authority." I'm under the authority of the Roman government and by reason of being under that authority I tell one go and he will go I'll tell the other come and Jesus said what I've not seen this kind of faith this kind of revelation in Israel submit yourself to the mighty hand of God then resist the devil hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next five minutes, I like you. I don't know how you are going to pray. Leave your hands. Praise God. I know we are men of prayer. Listen, you have been confronting darkness, but you try it now in the name. You, you see the revelation. David met Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spares, but I come to you in a name in a name you come to me with bow and arrow i mean i may be small but there is a name an office i invoke the power of an office hallelujah praise god is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what the Lord is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. What is it that he cannot do? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. The God of wonders that can change situations. That is too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues that have been affecting your life and your family. In the next five minutes. Tell it I confront you. In the name. That sickness. In the name, come on, prayer warriors. Come on, prayer warriors. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Rekoto proto seka. Meko proko seka. We confront that in the name. We confront infirmity. In the name, the Lord is in this place. The Lord is in His temple. The Lord is in His temple. Shalabako Sakapa, the Gadea, Ilabaka Patana, the Gadea, 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 the
the situation in my family is changing is changing is changing I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus I command healing I command miracles jobs Command your marriage. Command your prayer life to come alive. Confront your unemployment issue. Confront your business. Confront your family. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Set a dead loss. The Lord rebuke you. 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 Let chains fall. Let miracles occur. Let testimonies occur. Lord, I release breakthrough. 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 In every family. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, you are going to say, I take my eyes away from every challenge. Whatever the devil has used to discredit God in my life. Are you hearing me? There are many of us that cannot trust God because of the things that have happened or the things that are happening the bible says abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief he considered not the deadness of sarah's womb although she was close to a hundred years he counted him faithful faithful god cannot lie satan can be tired your faith can weary the devil listen right now i want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say i take my eyes away i don't care what is not working or what is working god you are faithful and your word must ah, come to pass you are not a man come on lift your faith lift your voice and pray provoke faith I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. Let us say Christ in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The child will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faith-filled generation. 
Hallelujah. Yes. I see a lot of testimonies coming. Mighty testimonies. Believe me, mighty testimonies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The last prayer point. I'm led for us to do this. Hallelujah. You're going to hold hands with somebody. If you can pair yourselves into three, that will be excellent. You are going to pray for the finances of the people in that circle. Provoke the heavens to be open. That Lord, in this month, if, if there are not enough people, just hold two or three, anybody. Come on, pray now. We command it. We command it. In the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, testimonies. Pray, it will happen. Pray, it will work. Pray. He spoke a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Visit families, oh God. Visit your people in mighty ways. Visit your people in miraculous ways. Prophesy, Gentiles, come to your light, kings, to the brightness of thy rising. Your gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. You will call on one person, and a nation will answer you. Hallelujah. 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 The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to bind up the broken hearted, to preach what? deliverance to the captives there are people under captivity the reality of demon spirits in our world and the fact that they influence people Christians and non-believers alike should not be ignored are demons real? the bible says so is satan real? the bible says so do they oppress people? yes Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you power, authority. The word there is exousia. Behold, I give you power. Luke 10 19. To tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. So there is the enemy and the enemy has a measure of power. Are we together? And he says, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Look at me, please. Look at me. Koinonia, look at me. Every time Jesus commissioned people, the first thing he told them to do was to cast out demons. Not heal the sick. Cast out demons. Right? When you read, um, let's look at a, a scripture, Mark. Mark 6. We'll read verse 7, then we'll run to 13. Quickly, Mark 6, 7, 13. And he called on 
to him the twelve. Read on please, it's projected. And did what? And began to send them forth two by two. He gave them power to do what? On clean spirit. On holy spirit. Spirits that are out of the influence of the Holy Spirit. They are called unclean spirits. They are everywhere like the air we breathe. They are responsible for the anger problem in people. Are we together? They are responsible for the barrenness in people. They are responsible for delay and retrogression. They are the ones who appear to you in dreams and sleep with you. They are the ones who appear and cause miscarriages. They are called unclean spirits. Now, regardless of the theological stratification, they are still spirits. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? But against what? Principalities. Uh -huh. Powers. Rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. They are all called unclean spirits. And there are three ways that their, their ministry or their life found expression in the earth. Number one is covenants. Is the most powerful way demon spirit advance their cause. Covenants. Number two is ignorance. Ignorance of the precepts and the principles of God. The light shines in darkness. So when there is no light, darkness remains. Are we together? And then number three, disobedience. 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 Demon spirits are real. A Christian cannot be possessed, but he sure can be influenced. Absolutely. Galatians 5, when you read from verse 16, this I say then, walk ye in the spirit and the Bible. He was talking to the Galatian church, people who had already encountered Christ. Are we together? But this is what he says. This I say then, that you walk in the spirit so that you will not gratify what? The desires of the flesh. Then he says the flesh lusted after the spirit. The spirit after the flesh. Two of them are consistently contending. What does that tell you? That you're a Christian does not mean that these demon spirits will not attempt to influence, manipulate or wage control over your life. There's nothing embarrassing when a Christian is delivered. The operation looks like possession but it's not possession. And now this is the balance. I'm going to create a balance. Because there are all kinds of prophetic ministries because they do not have a sound word base. Right? And let me tell you something. Even the prophetic and the supernatural is limited by the recipient's understanding of the operation of the word. Are we together? I can be a genuine prophet of God, but because I do not have a sound understanding of scripture, I can look at this beautiful lady looking at me and see a spirit behind her. And based on my interpretation of that vision, I call her a witch. Are we together? And then I fabricate a strategy. And I say, Oga, oh the solution to dealing with this, your wife, seeing that she's a witch, is to leave her. So, that is my, that is my advice based on my limitation. It may not be that I saw a wrong vision. But because my vision was not dealt with on the strength of the word of God for correct interpretation. It's not enough to see. Understandest what thou readest. He was looking. He was not understanding. Demons are real. They are here in this place tonight. Are we together? They came with many people. They came with many families. Many well-meaning people carried them. Our job is to separate you from them. That's what deliverance is. It's a separation. Let me tell you something. In the most authentic definition, deliverance is salvation. Right? The most authentic, in its purest form, deliverance is salvation. It's a complete translation. So every other thing you do is in support of that understanding. Demons are real. Let me tell you, you will be surprised to find out how many things have not been working in your life and can be credited to the ministry of these wicked spirits in our lives. 
There were many things in my life that didn't used to work for a long time. I tried, I did all I knew to do. But when I realized that, you see, let me tell you something. Because demon spirits have an advantage, hear me. Because demon spirits have an advantage of the realm of the spirit. When you try to fight in the flesh, you will be defeated forever. Every time, at all times, regardless of what you try to do. Someone promises to help you. You go to bed, a stranger appears again. The person gets up in the morning and tells you, I can't remember telling you what I said. Please get out of my office. Something made them do so. The same way there is an anointing that can call a destiny helper into your life. And you say, sorry, I don't need any help again. You say, God told me to do it. I don't like you, but I have to do it. Because something, may that thing, whatever thing it is, it must come upon you today. Yeah. Where men arise to make your life easy. Hallelujah. Demon spirits are real. Don't be embarrassed when you find out that these spirits are leaving you. Rejoice. And listen, please, don't just fall down and stand up and check yourself and feel embarrassed and then go back. No. And by the way, it has nothing, deliverance has nothing to do with falling down and manifesting. It has everything to do with the word of God prevailing over your person and casting out every nonsense that is roaming around your life. So you may be standing quietly and they are flying out of you, flying out of your destiny. When that, I'm teaching you this so that you will know what to expect and know how to appropriate it. So that when you leave this place, you now expect that that door that refused to open. Now that you know a spirit caused it, you expect it to open. So you start saying in the name of Jesus, I expect favor. I expect favor. A woman who has not been able to give birth, has not been able to take in. Husband is well, wife is well, both of you go to the hospital, they say there's nothing wrong as far as they know. Alright, take in madam. She cannot take in. Plants don't need consultation to take in. Animals don't need consultation. As haphazard as they are, the law still works. Because demons are not interested in the animals. They are interested in human beings. They are interested in your destiny. That's why they will refuse that you will not get that child. But the devil is a liar tonight. What of all those, all those lumps and all those nonsense that grow around your body? Lumps in your breast, lump in your stomach, lump every part movements around your body what do you think is called the holy spirit does not move in people in a foolish way the holy spirit is 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 he's an intelligent spirit he does not oppress people do you know there are people here who cannot sleep young people you you, you watch them and they're still awake because the moment they close their eyes is a nightmare Demons are real. The last key, number three, that the Lord will have us tonight to know. All of us must possess this if we really need result. Is your faith. Hmm. Your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith. Your faith. My faith reaches out to you and I believe your word Listen, let me tell you something about faith most of us our understanding about faith is just for reception but faith is also an instrument of defense Ephesians 6 verse 16 therefore holding forth the shield because there are times between prophecy and manifestation you will need to stand Faith becomes the weapon you use to shield yourself. That when another word comes and says, Kai, can you imagine Pastor Alpha, is this thing really working? And then the shield of faith, you lift it. And he said, no way. I know that my Redeemer liveth is working. If it's working, show me the evidence. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He says, above all, taking the shield of what? Faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench, quench, quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Listen, 
Faith is the result of an understanding. Faith is the result of an understanding. It produces persuasion. It's from the Greek word pistis. Conviction based on an understanding. He says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded, just like I'm persuaded that someone's testimony will turn around. I mean, somebody's life will turn around tonight. I am persuaded. Listen, it's not just what you do that produces result, but the faith that backs what you do, the conviction that backs what you do. Faith is powerful. The Bible says by it, the elders obtained a good report. So if you need a good report, you will need that faith to obtain it tonight. And there are many of us who are trusting God for good reports. You want to change the doctor's report. You want to change every kind of nonsense report that the devil has brought. It will take faith. It will take faith. Conviction. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it everyone. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe in the power of God. I believe that nothing is impossible for God. And tonight. God. Through his spirit. Will birth my testimony. I believe that with all my heart. I came in. There were people in Abuja. My Bible. Uh, at the back of my Bible is full of all kinds of people's prayer requests. You cannot imagine people dropping their prayer requests. Apostle, please as you are going back, can we drop our prayer requests? All the way. Because there is a God that answers prayers. Please hear me, Koinonia. Tonight, like we prayed earlier on, I want you to get angry with the situation in your life. You see, I cannot make you tired of it. I can only encourage you. He said, woe to them who are at ease in Zion. The day you are tired, you will change. Let today be that day. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Lord, my time has come. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, this health thing, I can't remain sick forever. No. This SS genotype, this HIV, this cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer point and then we'll begin to minister. I'd like you to say, Lord, grace to not doubt you tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer point in our lives. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, whatever must come upon my life for me to move forward hold on let it come and whatever must leave me i have no loyalty to you i don't care where you came from tonight i pathways with you forever lift your voice and pray Every anointing that must land upon my life today, every grace, every spirit, 
every dimension tonight you must come upon my life and everything that must leave me I'm tired of any luggage upon my destiny Koinonia are you praying those online make sure you are praying right where you are at your home so wherever you are streaming from Hallelujah. 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 One of the graces I'm trusting God to come upon our life is grace for accelerated advancement. Listen, listen. There are many of us, our pace of movement is slow. You can't look at your life and say, A, B, C has happened within this time. It's not a good testimony. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I must move. Oh, I must move. There must be advancement. The overflows. Make sure you are praying. God is sharing you where you are. Yes, oh God, I'm parting ways forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. You must contend with prophecy. Oh, this bad luck upon my life must leave. I was not cursed like that. Even if it's a curse, it must go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a war unto them who are at ease in Zion. There is enough function tonight to deliver the result you desire, except you are not interested. If you truly are interested and you are angry enough, Tonight is not the time to spectate and pinch and gist. Anybody does that kind of thing for you tonight, know that the spirit is using that person. You can't come here and waste your time. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for you. I'm about to speak. Please, I want you to pray. Mention every negative thing that you know has happened, patterns in your life that you know must change and say, God arise for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, it must go over my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 Before God deals with our lives, we are going to be praying first and foremost that God will deal with our families. See, let me tell you something. It's not your fault that you came from that family. But it's your fault if you allow what came from there to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying, oh Koinonia. Believe what I'm saying. I love you too much to not lie to you. There are, there are ties and strongholds that are stopping people from rising. Lift your hands, everybody. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. 
you overcome Every high thing must come down You wear the victor's crown You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken I want to pray. Now listen. Don't get too used to the fact that it's just about speaking and then people fall under the anointing and come be serious while prayers are going. Because it is at the word of God they respond. They are listening to me, I'm speaking. But until the command is given, there is nothing to confirm. I want to pray. Many of you will be very surprised. Open up your spirit. It's time for God to visit you and visit your families. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. My God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit pointed arrows. Listen. Pointed arrows. Pointed arrows. And on those arrows, I see like papers placed on the arrows containing the names of people names of families names of territories that's what the Lord is showing me right now and we are going to pray Listen, the power of God is going to come very strongly upon people it's, it's not just you but your family are we together and once that happens know that the time has come you pray it and declare that deliverance Lift your hands. I want to pray now. Father, you brought us here to change lives, change testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very crazy instruction. Just lift your left hand. Be stupid. I've started my stupidity. Just follow me quietly. Just lift your left hand up to God. And let me do the speaking. You don't have to say anything. Please, all those who I'm going to speak to now that the power of God comes on them. Let's begin to have them outside. <sighs> Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. My God. I'm seeing so many people. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just responding to the spirit. Lord, you ask us to lift our left hands up. Whatever that means. There are people. I see fire right now. It's going to begin to come on people. Lord, the moment that comes on their family. Let there be massive deliverances. At the count of four. That will happen now. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out right now. Inside, outside. I'm seeing the spirit of God. There's fire moving to families. Please, let's save time. Shabbat At the word of the Lord. I place the word of the Lord upon that situation of witchcraft. Inside, outside. It's over, it's over, it's over. It's over. I come with a word of prophecy. I prophesy as I've been commanded. Miracles. Deliverances. For families. Enough is enough, oh God. Bring them. There are so many people outside. So many people outside. All the overflows. I see miracles. It's like fire. It's like fire. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. I'm seeing fire. And it's going to come upon the heads of people. And the Lord is saying it is still the deliverance. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Right now, all over the congregation. I prophesy it like fire. I see like an eruption. A volcanic eruption coming on the heads of people. The heads of people. 
Sheketekata. Where you are, the fire will meet you there. Where you are, where you are. The enemy has done this. We command every havoc. We command every havoc. Kaba Tayata. I tell you, I see deliverance for many families. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit. Causing the tragedies. In my family. Be exposed now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. Be exposed. The spirits eating up finances, eating up joy, eating up peace. Kapatatata, ekerato soto basiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see written on this pulpit altars. And I want to pray. An altar is a platform erected by men that grants access to spiritual operations. Altars. 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 At the count of seven, I tell you many people, this is not just families now. One, two, three, four, get ready. Five, six, seven, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Altars, catch fire. Altars, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shake it, take a poro sotoba. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to call situations. The moment I call them, all those who are victims of it, the power of God will come upon them. Please, we are going to be fast. Right now, I pray the spirit of failure upon people. I'm seeing it. Lord, wherever they are, right now, at the count of three, let there be an exposition. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Failure, failure, failure. Causing failure in lives. Failure in destinies. Failure in ministries. Failure in business. Failure in academics. Every form of failure. Fire is coming on it right now. Fire is coming on it right now. Inside, outside. No, you can't stand it. It's your deliverance. It's your word. Is your prophecy. Is your word. That's why you came. Failure. Lift your hands everybody. I'm seeing chains and the Lord is saying let delay leave my people that's what I'm hearing Lord 
where are those whose lives have been under one spot inside and outside at the count of three i like you to shout jesus delay is leaving now one two three go 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 delay 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 of all times of all times Harato soto peketesh. Delay. Delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. Be broken now. Now. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I break that chain now, now, now. That chain of delay, that chain of delay is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking delay. Listen. Hallelujah. I've prayed this prayer in this place before. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. That the destinies of men can be exchanged. So that you are walking. But you are not living your destiny. It's like you are living another person's life. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please take this prayer seriously. It will do wonders in your life. Lift your hands. Inside and outside. And you watch what will happen now. Lord, I pray. My God, I'm telling you, all I'm seeing in this place is fire. Any man here, any woman whose destiny has been exchanged so that the life you are living is not your blueprint right now. Let the exchange, let there be another exchange, another exchange, another exchange. The power of God is coming on people right now. Right now, right now, release your destiny. Release that mother's destiny now. Release that mother's destiny now. My goodness. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. You can't leave another person's script. Every witchcraft, every manipulation. I curse it now. I curse it now. I curse it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people with strange movements in their body. I tell you, I feel fire. It's like people are literally bathing in fire. Strange movements. I want to pray. There are many ladies, many mothers under this category. Right now in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every stranger, there is a lady, you feel a physical snake, physical snake moving on your body. But right now in Jesus name, at the count of three, fire from the throne. Fire from the throne. I command those spirits roaming around the bodies of God's people. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go now. Leave their bodies. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please sisters lift your hands. I want to pray. A very powerful prayer for our sisters. The devil will prefer. To get one woman. To ten men. 
Because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, no power will stand. Something is about to jump out of somebody's life. Ay, ay, ay. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Let her go right now. Your destiny must open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain. Lift your hands, sisters. There are many ladies here under several oppressions. That's why many things are not working. But sisters, as surely as the Lord lives, at the count of three, I'd like you to shout Jesus. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Deliverance for you right now. Deliverance. Help them, my goodness. Please help them. Gates. 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 Be broken. Gates. Be broken. Papataya. Gates. Be broken. Gates. Be broken. Gates. Be broken. I'm praying it again. Lift your hands. Ay, ay, ay. Every devil that came here with you must let you go. Lift your hands. There are sisters. There is already a programming on your destiny to fail. A programming to be barren. Who is this God that can look into time? Wherever they are, at the count of three, may the power of God fish them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. I open your destiny. Every lady, every sister, you are a gate. You are a gate in the realm of the spirit. Mighty deliverance. Mighty breakthrough. Mighty breakthrough. Mighty breakthrough. It's over. It's over. It's over. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Over. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for the brothers. Lift your hands. Listen, let me tell you. There is a spirit that makes men not to be productive. Hear me. It's a, it's, it's a mighty deliverance that will happen to many men right now. Pay attention. There are men who are just going old. There's nothing happening in their lives. It's not your fault. There are keys that have been withheld from you. But that thief must be exposed. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Ancestry. Ancestry. That's the first thing we are dealing with the brothers. Brothers, lift your hands. I want to pray. Many of you will be surprised to see what happens. Every spirit of ancestry, every spirit of inheritance over any brother here, stopping his advancement at the count of three, some of you will be very surprised. That fire will come on you. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. That fire. Help them, please. Help them. My goodness. Kaparata kata. Brothers are coming under this unction. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Help them. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. 
I cause that spirit hallelujah God does this all the time and I don't know why God is doing this again <laughs> ah If he did it before, he can do it again. Listen, I see something strange happening. Strange happening. Strange happening in the spirit. And I'm seeing the spirit of the Lord moving. And God is saying he's visiting Eastern Ants. Eastern and evil people. That's what I'm seeing. There are altars that need to be broken. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray right now. Wherever they are, always he will do it. You are from the east, get set. Be sensitive. Come on, you shouldn't be doing that. Eastern and Lord, wherever they are, it will come like fire on you. You will be surprised. To see what will happen to you now. The spirit of God goes to the east. The spirit of God goes to the east. And is bringing deliverance. Deliverance. Strange deliverance. Evil people. Strange deliverance. By the power of the Holy Ghost. He's visiting your soil. Visiting your foundation. Visiting your soil. If he did it before. He can do it again. Same God back then. Same God right now. If he did it before, Abia, 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 Abia said, Shaka Tabarata, Abia, Abia, the Spirit of God is moving. Across Apia, miracles breaking foundations. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why God does these things. There are signs and wonders. He steps into, you will see the testimonies that will come from this thing. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, everybody. Joshua Selman. God, please. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm walking in the spirit and I see a map. And the Lord is asking me to jump upon it. And I see Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. That's what I see. Right now, Lord, at your word, move. Southern Kaduna. Visiting men and women. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. I speak it. I place the word of God upon it. Lord, go to that region. Right now, Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. From Saminaka to Zonkua. Everywhere. Move. Let the power of God touch people. Liberty for territories. Liberty for territories. No matter where you are, I'm telling you, Southern Kaduna, fire is falling. Fire is falling upon your soil. Upon your soil. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna, that's what I see. Southern Kaduna. Connected to Southern Kaduna, there is a miracle happening. Altars in southern Kaduna, I come against you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Leave God's people now. Yeah, na 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 na. 
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this operation of the spirit. I found it working in my life is powerful. God just calls a territory, and everyone is like a digital spiritual system. It's not something you just do by guesswork. It's the spirit of God. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. God is still touching Kaduna people. I'm still hearing it in my spirit. God is still touching Kaduna people. There's no escape. Any family tied to any altar comes under fire. Any Kaduna family married to Kaduna living in Kaduna state Hallelujah. Please lift your hands while still praying. I want to pray for students now. Something miraculous will happen here now. I want to pray for students because I see conspiracy to short circuit people's performances. I'm going to pray. But there is a God in heaven with an all-seeing eye. And there is an unction he can release. I'm going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that will come. The way God is working this night is very supernatural. If the power of God comes upon you, I want you to know that an angel is doing something over your result. Just hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Father, there are people whose results need to be worked upon divinely. And where are they? I see almost 45 people. Right now at the count of three. One. Results. Two. Three. Let the angels begin to move. As they move, it will affect you. As the power of God touches you, your result is being worked upon. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Results, results. Carry of us. Receiving the mercy of God. Receiving the mercy of God. God upgrading CGPS. Upgrading CGPS. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. CGPS. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernaturally. By the creative power of prophecy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to let you smile. Hear me. That joy and laughter will not come out of your mouth. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. I bring that thing under fire. I bring it under fire. I bring it under fire. Shake a ta ta ta. I bring it under fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands and be silent if you can. A miracle is happening. A miracle is happening. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing letters in the spirit. And these are employment letters. Hold on. Just keep your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You will be surprised. Many of you for you and for your loved ones. The Lord is just asking. Just lift your hands. Father at least 17 people inside outside there are up to five people online supernatural jobs may the angels of breakthrough take this word to the people right now right now right now right now receive it receive those letters in the spirit 
Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. For you, for your loved ones. I don't care what they read. I don't care what they have. We give them jobs. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I see at least four people. Three of them are ladies in the congregation. Your mothers are due for promotion. But they've done everything they know to do. As I'm speaking right now. An anointing will come upon you. To signify what he's doing to them. Lord go ahead. Locate them. Promotion. I force it. I force it now. I force that promotion. Take it. Carry it for your mothers. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. The judgment of God. We're going to pray for the sick, but um, there are two women I want to pray for here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Now I know there are many people. Listen, there are two women particularly. One of them, the anointing of please no standing for wife, no standing for anybody. If you are not the person, um, sit down. If you are not married, don't come here. Praise God. Please. The two women by themselves. I'm going to pray. That lady, oh, let me let me let me pray for her. That devil, let her go. Don't disturb us. Don't waste our time. Out. Out now. Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. You are living. Release her family. Release her destiny right now. The noise maker, out you go and don't waste our time in Jesus' name. I set her free in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. We are going to pray for those two women. I don't know if there are here, the two of them here. There's one of them. Um, I'm seeing one of them. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon her. I don't know who that person is. But there's one. Please, we have such people. We have to be fast. If I mention your case, once we give you one minute, there's no response. We have to move so that God can help us, please. Except if they are outside there, then that's all right. The married women that need the fruit of the womb, we have to pray for them right now. Praise the Lord. How many of us are trusting God for healing miracles in our bodies? Let me see your hands. I know many of our mothers are in this category. No matter what the case is, who is stand up? Come on down. The power of God will come upon that person. Please make sure they are married, though. Please stand up, stand up, madam. It's okay, uh, madam. Madam, it's okay. Please. Madam, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. How many years have you been married? 20 years. 20 years. No child. Look at me. 20 years. 20 years. Madam, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. 20 years of marriage. If, if that woman gave birth to a child by now, that's the other person, right? Why am I seeing her? I'm seeing chains around her stomach. You must remove it now. Remove it now. You are a devil of darkness. You hear my voice. Take off that chains now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as barrenness. It's nonsense. When a spirit sits on your stomach, there's no way a child will come. If you like, do whatever. You go to India and come back, you only waste money. But there is a God. 
Madam, please look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you here with your husband? You came here for program. I'm a student here. And you decided to. Where is your husband? He's in Kafancha. We okay. reside in Kafancha. Okay, look at me, madam. Do you believe God can give you a child? I believe that's why I came. It's okay, it's okay, madam. Look at me. Look at me, madam. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray. How many of us believe this woman will come and stand and testify? If you are doubting this, you've not been in Koinonia. Madam, look at me. I want you to shout as loud as you can. I receive. Just shout it. I receive this God, ba. Let me tell you that is that is not working in your life does not mean it's not available. I've told you this thing. You have to believe there are dimensions in God. This woman you see will come and stand here with her child. Why is she here, madam? Why are you here? You are married for how many years? Give her the mic. How many years? Ten years. The anointing is on you. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me, madam. Shout, I receive, if you believe. I receive! There's something leaving your body now. Let it go. You are a devil. Let her go right now. Something is coming out of your stomach. That's what I'm seeing. That's what has stopped your barrenness. Go and have your child. In the name of Jesus. Go and have your child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me pray. Madam, make sure you people return with your testimonies. Want to pray. Is your husband here? Husband, please come, sir. I want to pray for you. Marriage is between two people, not three people. I look in the spirit and I'm seeing three people. Somebody is a stranger in this equation. Please come, sir. I'm seeing a third person in the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. I'm seeing a third person in the realm of the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. The devil is a liar. We are going to pray. Please hold your hands together. Just in one of your hands. Yes, I want to pray. Please put your hand on your Watch what happens to you. There is a name. Oh. There is a name. There is a name. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. There is a name. Let her go. Strangers, Kabataya, what God has joined together and prophesying. That's why I said, Hold your hands. Anybody whose hand is not held physically should not be in this equation. Therefore, I prophesy. Any stranger, release what you are putting in her stomach now. I'm seeing a snake. That's what I see in the spirit. I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Kaparatakaya. Marriage was done legally. Therefore, you are an illegal occupant. Release her now. Let there be miracle children. Miracle children. I'm seeing a lady in the crowd. You are standing in for your sister who has been married for five years. Who is that? I want to pray for that person. Five years. Your sister has been married five years. No child. No child. You are the one? Where is she? What's her name? Deborah. Where is she? She's in How many years? Five years. No child. No child. My brother, six years. And you, the devil, wants to give you four years. Or we'll cancel it. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My, my destiny, destiny today. Destiny, destiny today. 
How many years? Nine years. Huh? Nine years. Where is she? She's in Adarembauchi. Kigiamata. Is that the same way? Amen. Why are you here, my dear? She has been coming with scourges. For how many years? Yes. Three years. Her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? Did you hear what I said? I said her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? The man is the head of the family. See, this thing is being done by an anointing. It's not, it's not, it's not joke. It's an anointing. Look at me. Listen, every lady, place your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Just, just place your hand and leave it there. Hold on. Not, not for the brothers. Brothers, you don't have a womb. Just calm down. I know I'm praying for the sisters. That's why I'm praying. Because you see, listen. <laughs> just follow what I'm doing. You will be surprised to see what will happen. The Bible, the Bible does not allow you to test whether you are pregnant first before you marry. Is that true? So there is no way you know. You just marry and then find out. It's a disaster for a man, a family to pay the price, pay dowry and get married and then there's that nonsense. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Let's attack it in advance. If you care for the prayer, lay your hands. For some of you, God is saving you years of misery. I'm seeing a number 21. And this is at least 21 people and families involved. Father, visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. I'm praying a miracle is happening to your womb. Visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. Right now, everything that wants to plant barrenness in your stomach, for every lady here and those watching online, I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Hold that baby. You, Ejimi, please give her that child. Just hold her so she doesn't fall. Just hold that baby. You are holding this child as a prophetic symbolism for your sister for you when you get married and for every other person and for two other people who are in the congregation this prophecy is connecting them where are they oh God where are they oh God the anointing of the spirit will locate them now right now two of them in the congregation for this miracle for this miracle for this miracle daddy sir please let me talk to you just give a few minutes. You and the madam close to you. Mommy, please come. You are an usher, but you are praying. Come. Let God answer your prayers. This lady is talking to the Lord. What was the issue? It's my sister. You are asking the Lord to do what? Yes, sir. She has put to bed in time. But none of them is alive. Because I'm seeing a spirit. As soon as she's giving birth. This is like an antelope. It eats the children. As in, it's the child. Sometimes most of the children will grow. Nine months you give birth. Then they will last for only a few minutes. And they will die. Hold my hands. Where is she? Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Where is she? What's her name? Ladi. Ladi. Ladi will speak to you. 
Lay your hand on your stomach. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this, this, this frustration is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is, I want to pray for you. Mama, good evening, ma. Please stand up. Who is the stubborn child that you want God to touch? Lift his picture up. Victor, Victor, Victor. This is your number one prayer. The one you want to marry. Where is the person? The one you want a job for that graduated. Job, job, the one that graduated. The graduate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Henry. Mama, this is to tell you that God knows your situation. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This boy needs to be prayed for. So that this boy, so that they will not go and lock him in police station. Yeah? This, I don't know who the boy is, but Let it stop on, sir. that's what I'm saying, madam. It's okay. You are here for God to visit you. Amen. Amen. Who is Nonso? Nonso. Nonso. I'm hearing the name Nonso. We are going to pray. Nonso. Mama, we are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Eh? Very soon. Solomon, you want to marry? He's planning for his wedding, sir. Okay, it's alright. We'll, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I pray for you. You came here expecting the power of God to touch you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, sir. Mama, do you want the pain in your body to stop? Yes, sir. You wake yes, up in the Lord. morning and there's severe pain yes, in your Lord. back. Sir, you know about this thing. I know, sir. True. And the Lord is going to do a great miracle for Mama. Amen. Because, Mama, I'm seeing you. You can't watch for long. You bend down to wash and your back is pain. Exactly. Thank you, Father. In the I name of that. Jesus Christ, the Lord who has seen you is going to do a miracle Amen. for you. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help Mama you, in Father. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank Please, you, don't. who is this? Huh? No, so, my friend, are you not so? Help the boy, his trouser is removing. Who is that? Who brought him out? Maybe we should help him now. <laughs> Sir. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I'm the proprietor of his school. I'm a pastor. I'm a civil engineer by training. You own a school? I do, sir. Primary school? No, sir. Nursery and primary. Yes, sir. You've been afraid to start the secondary school. Seriously, sir. Is that true? I've been afraid. Because what is happening in the primary, up and down, up and down, people are taking their children out of your school. And they are owing money. And they are owing money. And you are trusting God for a miracle. Because you too, you need a lot of money now. As you are standing here like this, you need money. Very correct, sir. And this money is much. Don't collect loan. Don't collect loan. Loan is a way to die. Time to destiny. Don't collect loan. Sir, I want to pray for you. One of the things you are going to start seeing as you minister the word is breakthrough. You will start seeing strange breakthroughs. Amen. In the lives of people. Amen. And then we want to pray for your school, sir. Things are going down. What you need is not money. What you need is very qualified teachers who are really willing to teach. Because the people there, they will come today, a few months, they want to leave. And when they, you know, they want, I will have to pray for you. The devil is a liar. Please lift your hands, sir. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing for speed come upon you, sir. Supernatural speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and speed for you. Mama, God bless you. Please, who is this? Please, if we have not called your case, just be patient. We are going to pray for the sick now. Why is Mama here? Mommy, please come. Huh? Your son's name is Nonso. What's your name? 
No, so from where? When I'm from state. You are a student here? No. Dark. Who is Shidi? I'm hearing the name Shidi. 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 Let me pray for the person now. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, what you need, this one is not, I'm not even getting any word for your son also. What God is saying, I should prophesy to you, is that he's bringing restoration to your life. God is saying, I should tell you, you see that song that I sang at the beginning of the meeting? Yes, we are carry. I'm speaking how, sir, it's finished. That's what God is saying, I should tell you, that he's going to bring restoration to your life, supernatural restoration right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold my hands. I'm not getting any prophetic word for you, but in the name of Jesus, may God step in and do a miracle for you. Come, come and get something. You need to pray. Huh? You need academic breakthrough. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Please, why are these people here? Huh? John, you are serving in Musa. Have you started serving? Yes. In the place where? Father, give him favor. As you go, let there be favor in Jesus' name. Amen. You are what? John. John. From where? Zaria. I said, Sam, Father John. But since you have come out, let me pray for you. Yeah? Lay your hands on your chest. You love God? Okay. John. John, look at me. God can give you a new beginning. You hear what I'm saying? It's when I make altar call, John, run and join them. Huh? I'm going to pray for you, but that statement you made is not true. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you see, you have to be serious with God. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. She's older than she actually is. Huh? And there is a there is there is a medical condition. This is a feminine thing that I'm seeing that is responsible for this. Um can I change how sir? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, Turen Shima, you, you understand English. I'm seeing happy birthday on top of you, and I'm seeing 50 years. How old are you? Shakaran Kina. Upon me on 66 1966 How old is that? This woman is 50 but she's looking like 70. The devil is a liar. Huh? I'm seeing something. It's not something I can say in the open. But you need to be healed. And um, this thing started happening to you since soon you were about 17. Yes, about 17 years this thing started. This is a serious woman issue. This is women talk. Father, we cancel this nonsense in the name of Jesus Christ. It must live in Jesus' name. Beginning from today, experience the goodness of God in Jesus' name. May the Lord favor you too in Jesus' name. We want to pray for the sick now. This, this is our miracle service. Bear with us. We have to deal with these things. You see that there are so many, there are so many situations. We are praying. Everyone, you can be seated if you can or stand. We are soon going to be done. But I want us to pray. Are we together? Say after me, inside and outside, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please say it like you are serious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, I declare. that every closed gate standing before my destiny under this corporate anointing swing open now lift your voice and begin to pray please we are not just whiling away time pray participate in the prayer some of us that's what is that's what is affecting our lives every gate every gate every gate every gate every gate Every gate 
over my finances. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I will still prophesy it upon your life. Say in the name of Jesus. I call forth. By the power of prayer. Every helper. Who will give me access. To resources. To opportunities. And to new levels. I call them into my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. This is a powerful prayer. It's a very powerful prayer. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like you to prophesy. And say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. As I enter these ember months, I declare that the mystery of divine preservation is upon my life. No death, no accident, no bad news. Lift your voice and cancel bad news. Make sure you are praying. Some of you are just looking. Pray. It's a very serious prayer point. No bad news. I speak upon my life the mystery of divine exemption Embra kato shaka.
Rise up on your feet, please. Everybody inside, outside. Don't be tired. You're working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Before we pray on the request, I'd like you to pray and say, In the name of Jesus. How about now? Let's be serious. In the name of Jesus. September, September October, October November, November December, December hear, my hear my voice I speak to you, I speak to you. Deliver, to deliver to my life only blessings, only blessings. No, pain, no pain no sorrow no, sorrow. no, regrets. no regrets go ahead and prophesy release power to your future Release power to September. You shut your mouth, you shut your destiny. Release power to September. Release power to October. Release power to November. December. No plane crash. No bus crash. No amp robbery. No terrorism. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare. A covering. Over me. And my family members. Wherever they are. The seal of the blood. Exempts them from tragedy. Listen, I shared some months ago. Hold on. I shared some months ago a vision that the Lord showed me. I'm not one person who will stand and say, I saw this. Sometimes I see these things, I just pray. But it was upon my spirit and I said it. Remember, I spoke about the month of September. Everything you see us do here is prophetic. As you speak, it looks like you are joking. But you are releasing power to your future. He said, declares thou that he might be justified. Hast thou commanded thy morning? You don't sit down and it delivers everything to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say in the name of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon my life and my family members. Therefore, every spirit of death and loss and, loss. and, disaster. and disaster must pass over my life and my family. Lift your voice and pray. No, not upon my life. Not upon my loved ones. They are sealed by the mystery of the blood. No accident. No accident. No death. No obituary. No plane crash. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to turn your request to testimonies. Go ahead. All those online, follow us. We are praying. You submitted your requests and we are praying. Every request. Oh God, you have produced testimonies. Shaba katata. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. Let there be miracles, testimonies, breakthroughs. Turn around impossible situations, oh God. Let the body come back to children. Let the poor return rich. Let the captive be set free. Let sinners come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Let your prayers be delivered. Let the sick be healed. Let jobless people return with jobs. Building projects completed. 
spiritual life is fired. Pray, pray. I'm going to prophesy upon this request and I want us to agree with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, I use this as a point of contact. Lord, there are so many requests here representing the challenges in people's lives. Some for jobs, some for marriages, some for children some for breakthroughs some for study um, scholarships others for help others for reconciliation others for souls others for financial prosperity and breakthrough others for restoration some for deliverance others for healing lord i pray in the name that is above all names we have a covenant of answered prayers with you therefore lord arise as a mighty man and turn every prayer request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all those who have sent their requests on Facebook, on Twitter, on any other platform. Lord, in the name of Jesus, give them strange visitations. Strange visitations from tonight. Strange visitations. And Lord, for every request that made it to this altar, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Turn every request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. I really apologize. Let me prophesy over our lives. Do you know why prophecy is very powerful? Most of the testimonies that you hear, listen, most of the testimonies that you hear are as a result of these prophetic words. Are we together? There are needs that God may not reveal and time may not permit to be able to extensively deal with. However, prophecy is powerful it says in numbers chapter 6 how that the priest will bless them and speak upon their life there is something about a prophetic word coming upon your life those who know this that is their edge in the spirit have received it and it has produced dramatic results in their lives those who are careless about it like they are about many other things never really get to receive anything let me tell you even if it's an impartation even if it's a dimension of breakthrough for as long as you stepped your feet here and for all the thousands following us online, connect. Connect. Distance is no barrier in the spirit. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing and you have turned my sorrow into joy. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy like you have never experienced from January till now. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Joy like you have never experienced. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I speak to your hands. Whoever is not doing anything here. Because God said be fruitful. I don't care whether it's a job, a business. I don't care whether you're a student, a graduate, a retiree. Whoever is having an idle hand between now and September miracle service I put something in your hand I put something in your hand I put something in your hand in the name of Jesus not something that will mock you something that will bring results in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I put pressure on your destiny helpers. I put pressure on them. May they respond to you. I put pressure on their spirits. May they arise and help you. May they arise and help you. 
Hallelujah. Any situation in your life that is a recurrent decimal, it comes as though the breakthrough is coming, then the situation repeats itself. I prophesy no more. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus, no more. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Someone is speaking here like Mary and saying, how shall these things be? Lord, I, is it true that you will turn my life? I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray. A turn around that will surprise you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A dramatic turn around. A dramatic turn around. Hallelujah. 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 In the last one month of my life, God has brought breakthroughs and things to my life that I have always believed God. But there is something God can do in your life that will make you fear Him. Not just believe Him. I prophesy to someone here. In the name that is above all names. That flight in the spirit that God can take a man and bring acceleration and not just surprise you but even make you fear. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in business here and it's no diving. Things are not happening. You turn everywhere. You've done everything you know to do. You need the prophetic. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. Every dream that is still on paper, no finances, no grace to bring it out of paper. You have been writing things for donkey years. But the grace to put it at work, I declare between now and next, next month's miracle service, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring results, bring results in the name of Jesus. Anyone called jobless in this place, that you have done everything to do, including giving money to people, and they have not brought jobs to you. I don't know how God will do it. But this mountain mover that can shake every mountain, I pray, may he give you not just a job, a miracle job. Miracle job. Hallelujah. Every family here that is stuck in one place, you try to rise, something brings you down. You try to rise, something brings you down. Now I prophesy to you, the grace for rising, receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising, receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising, receive it in the name of Jesus. Every embargo of bad luck upon your life, it works for others until it gets to your point and people change their mind. I declare in the name of Jesus, in a way you have never seen favor and help, may you experience that throughout the month of September. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dimension of anointing, a dimension of wisdom that you have never seen, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. Everything that needs to be broken in your life. Habits and encumbrances that tie you down. I command that today is their barrier. Today is their barrier. Today is their barrier. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy for someone who has never stood here to testify. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has stopped you from climbing this altar to testify, I curse that spirit right now. 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 Hallelujah. 
Stretch your hands towards me. I want to speak to you. Everything that makes money run away from your hands. Money has a spirit. You have obeyed kingdom laws, but this thing is not just coming. You will try and labor and labor and nothing will come. These hands that are stretched towards me, as I stretch my hands back to you, by the mystery of divine supply, may you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold an amount you have never held in your life before. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. I pray for your spiritual life. Everything that is alive grows. If you are not growing spiritually, something is wrong. And the measure, there are two indices to measure your spiritual growth. Number one, your degree of conformity to the image of the Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom alongside their operation. How to make them produce consistently. I pray for you this month. As we round up this month into the next month. Keys that your hands have never held spiritually. Hold them right now in Jesus name. Keys, mysteries that you have not known. Or mysteries you have had and have not been able to handle. May God give it to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, this is the prayer that I pray for people with all my heart. He said, you shall anoint, listen, you shall anoint Aaron and his sons. Right? And then he said, you shall take some of your honor and put upon him. How do you take honor and put upon him? Honor. The spiritual mystery that turns a man to a celebrity. Not by walking it. Honor is when men have the capacity to discern and reward what you represent. Hallelujah. I was coming from Abuja today and I stopped in Kaduna at a particular computer outfit just to buy, to quickly buy a laptop and proceed. And as soon as I stepped there, I entered, I saw all of them looking at me. They started jumping as if it was a crusade. Apostle Joshua Selman, I was so embarrassed. They ran, went and called their father, the owner of the place, uh, they call it Micro Manor in, in, in Kaduna. You know, and they were jumping and they looked, they said, ah, we, you have been blessed by your teachings, you know, God has lifted us, you can imagine the things that have happened, and they said, which laptop are you buying, and all of that, and I looked at them, I had to just run away and go out, because I didn't want a situation where they are doing business, they carry something that is so costly, and give. let me tell you, honor is more than money, oh. don't be deceived, money is very finite, Honor is when men rise up to solve your problems for you. They rise up and make it their business to see you succeed. May somebody here receive that mantle. May somebody here receive that mantle. May a pastor here receive that mantle. May a businessman receive that mantle. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Strange honor. Hallelujah. When you are minding your business and some people are talking and say, how do we bless this lady? As if they owe you. They get up and plan governmental figures discussing how to lift you. And people say, what is the big deal? There is a big deal. It's a mantle. Please, I want to pray it finally. I know, I know that our time is gone. But I want you to receive this thing. There are people here carrying it bodily. When you carry it, it speaks. See, let me tell you. The true proof of sonship is a replication of grace. A replication of grace. A replication that you are carrying something you know. The devil knows and heaven knows that this is like an address. It will cause good things to look for you. I want to pray for you. Honor makes your life easy. Otherwise, you will suffer for anything. Everything you are in trouble, you pay for it alone. There is a mystery of honor, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I pray for you, my God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for your people in this great house. You have placed your mantle of honor upon this house, and by grace upon my life. I'm praying right now. 
everyone under the sound of my voice. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. In a dimension you have never seen. Or for those of you who have seen a measure of it in a higher dimension, receive that mantle of honor. 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 Keep standing, everybody. I want to make an altar call now. Please, no moving around. Let's honor what God is doing. No sitting down. Just five minutes and we're done. Thank you so much for your patience. We stretched the time quite. Um, but I think that it's worth it. If you pay that much price and you come back with tear some testimonies, it's a wise baguette. There are still people under the anointing. God is still doing things. And even after the service, God is still going to be touching people. But very quickly, I want to make a call. There are people outside all the overflows, any of them. And there are people following us online. You are saying, man of God, I heard you speak. And whilst you spoke, the Holy Spirit convicted my heart and told me it's time to make a commitment or a rededication. For some of you, this is your first time making a genuine decision for Jesus. Others, you have made that decision, but you are rededicating yourself. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front. Make sure that you do not leave this place without making that decision. God bless you. There are people coming. God bless you. God bless you. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. God bless you, young and old. Clear the way for them. Please, if you are coming from outside, I want you to save time. Double up, hurry up and come. God bless you. Alana Bakasuchi Ata Alana Bakasuchi Ata Keep coming Alana Bakasuchi Ata Keep coming quickly please hold on thank you so much for coming men and women people who love god listen no matter what has happened in your life no matter what you have done i don't want you to stand here feeling guilty rebels don't come to god they run away from god so that you are here in his presence some of you are rededicating your life some of you are doing so for the first time it doesn't matter what category i want you to lift your right hand please if you are still coming join them very quickly lift your right hand and say after me very clearly you are not reciting a poem say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you died for me to prove your love for me and now i give my heart to you to prove my love for you I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm above sin. I'm above Satan. I'm above the flesh. In the name of Jesus, from today, I declare that I have the life of God. I'm a child of God. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. And I am victorious. In the name of Jesus, keep your hands lifted, please. Father, thank you for these ones. You have drawn them by your wisdom. Let today be the beginning of, of great days in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that everything they have laid at your altar will remain there and never cling to their lives again. Open them up to a new dimension of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I ask that you come into the lives of every one of these precious people. In the name of Jesus use them for your glory give them tearful testimonies in the name of jesus i pray amen thank you so much for making this decision now i'd like you to follow this gentleman and the lady waving their hands they will have your details in a minute and then you'll be back to your seat god bless you honor them koinonia hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes 
are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.